Now this illustration deals with systems of 13,800 votes used in uh, usually uh, larger uh, industrial plants and facilities. Now notice the transformer to the left is a 2000 KVA. It's three phase, 13,800 volt. Now to determining the calculating amps of transformer number one, we take the KVA times 1,000 divided by the voltage times the square root of three. When the math is done, 84 amps. I would like to point out we would no longer use uh, Article 310, uh, 310 for high voltage systems over 1,000 volts. We have a new article in the 2020 NEC, Article 311, that deals strictly with high voltage wiring methods, conductors, and so forth, uh, when we're sizing them. So we would look at, uh, determine, is this an underground feed? Is it overhead? Then we could go to Article 311, and we could uh, pick out our table that dealt with conductors and a raceway system and size those for 84 amp. And probably you'd use about a number four uh, type cable there when we went to uh, our table 311. Now, uh, if you're running overhead, then a 311 will refer you to 300.37, which is the high voltage over 1,000 volt uh, section in, uh, in uh, say, the 300 series. And uh, 300.37 lists all the wiring methods for above ground. If you're routing those conductors from the transformer to the facility in the ground, you'd go to 300.50 and uh, uh, your wiring methods, barrel depths and all that are listed there. But now notice when the math is done here, you have 84 amps, so that's a very small conductor's sizing that we would route from maybe a substation uh, up to the building that is uh, identified as service uh, number one. And we could have two to six banes, as we see in the illustration, we only have two. Now to the right, uh, we have transformer number two as an example, and it's 1500 kVA. So we would take the 1500 times 1000 and divide it by 12,470 times the square root of three, to obtain the amps that, we, that are usable there. But the main thing about figure 4-9, it's just illustrating systems of uh, 13,800 volts. Now, if you ground the transformer, then you gotta bring a grounded conductor in. But now, notice uh, that uh, there's some uh, other information we would need to point out to you. Uh, the Article 311 will size your cables, your conductors, uh, conduits, things like that. But to get the individual components that went in a switchboard, switch gear, whatever, you'd have to go to Article 490. If we're using a circuit breaker arrangement for this uh, higher voltage, we would look at 450, uh, excuse me, 490. I believe 21A. If we're using uh, fuses uh, to make up our protection, we would look at 490.21b. But what I'm pointing out, any of the components that are used in a system of over 1,000 volts, we go to 490 to make the selection of those components. But the conductors, the conduit, uh, those items, we go to Article 300 and Article 311 in the 2020 edition of the NEC.